You're listening to the Platte River Bard. This will be our next installment of our interviews with some of the cast and crew of Our Town, which opened April 13th and runs through April 24th at the Nebraska Repertory Theater. Our guest today is actor Sean Witzel, who plays the role of Mr. Webb. Sean founded the Destiny Theater Experience in Nashville, Tennessee. He is a playwright, actor, and director. He has numerous theatrical acting credits, including his original one-man show called 23-1, which was called The Best Blend of Theater and Activism by the Nashville Scene, an alternative newsweekly print publication. He works as a traveling teaching artist in spoken word and drama in high schools, prisons, and community spaces. We hope you'll enjoy hearing the stories of each of these talented artists as much as we did. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Platte River Bard. This is Chris Berger. And I'm Sherry Berger. And we are here today with Sean Witzel. He is playing Mr. Webb in the Nebraska Repertory Theater's production of Our Town. Thank you very much, Sean, for yes. talking with us today. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. It is a privilege. And we saw the show on Wednesday, and we loved it. We Absolutely did. loved fantastic it. Fantastic We're job. fantastic, Thank as so was much. everybody. Uh, man, you guys got a really good cast, and uh, really working well together, everybody is. Mm-hmm. Uh congratulations well thank you very much yeah yeah it was it's it's been a great experience and everyone it was wonderful and nice from the very beginning and you know being someone who came into town who was right. <laughs> you didn't know anybody yeah, yeah 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 so um i think the everyone's attitudes contribute to the the chemistry that we have on it because everybody just wanted to do good work so yeah so I actually thought that your character had a lot of fun, funny parts, like fun. And you did such a good job at being able to, even though maybe the words weren't there as much, the expressions were there mm-hmm. and just made a lot of a lot of it really fun. I think there was one part in particular where your wife, I think your wife did something and you're just like, oh, my, oh she left the room. That's what it was. She left the room <laughs> and she left you there talking, <laughs> talking to, to Will, to George. Yes. And you just did such a good job just communicating like, oh, because we've all seen that before. Right. The awkward right, right. scene with the dad. Yes. Right, yeah. Right. yeah. I mean, the wonderful thing about um, Arthur, our director, was that he just showed me like I would have never taken that. I probably on my own probably would have never taken that route with the character Um, because I didn't see him as being that like awkward as awkward as he is or as funny as he is. Sure. But then uh, Arthur, who has studied this piece, you know, for years, Mm -hmm. you know, he he opened me up to the idea of like it being uh, this man being so awkward at times. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, okay, cool. I could really have some fun with this. And so that's what I did. So, yeah, it was it was great. Oh, awesome. So you are from Nashville. Is that where you live right now or are you in New York? Yeah, I'm in Nashville. I'm I'm from uh, Western Kentucky, a small town called Madisonville is where I was born and raised. Okay. And I went to college in Middle Tennessee, Middle Tennessee State University outside of Nashville. Cool. And um, so I've lived in Nashville for years, and that's where I do most of my work. Wow. Yeah. So how did you end up being able to try out for this show? Well, it's yeah. interesting because uh, never under, underestimate the, the power of a good reputation and okay. uh, relationships. Yes. So um, I had directed a show for someone who recommended me to direct a show for someone else in Indianapolis. So I did that. And that person uh, recommended that I recommended me to Arthur for this show. Okay. And so, yeah, so that's yeah. Just, just like came out of, you know, recommendations from other people. So. Oh, wow. So, so you didn't have to go to an audition. I did or... audition on, we did a Zoom audition. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Zoom I did, but I didn't, cool. but it was like, it was. Uh, it's still un- unorthodox because someone yeah. said, "Hey, I think sh- he would be great for this." And so, and so, then a few days later, I was on a Zoom go read for it and audition, yeah. and next day I got the call. So. Sweet. So, what did you think when you got the call? I have to go to Nebraska. <laughs> um, I was super excited about it because number one, had you been well, here before? No. Okay. I had never been. I had never been to Nebraska. Never really thought much about Nebraska. Sure. You know, there's a few states that. 
I just have never been to and just like, oh, I didn't realize I hadn't been to that place. Mm -hmm. uh, so like one of the things I wanted to do is go to every state, yeah. you know, at some point in my life, like hit all 50. But yeah. Um, yeah. Nebraska was, um, yeah, a place that I had never really, that I had never been and, and hadn't put a lot of thought into. And so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I, I was super excited about coming because I had never been here before. So, yeah. Oh, wow. I, I was struck. I'm not from here either. I'm from Kansas City. Yeah. Uh, I was really struck when I came here to the uh, Lincoln, Omaha area. There's a ton of theater up here, like a yeah. surprising amount. Mm -hmm. Which I'm thankful for because otherwise I don't think he'd stay here with me. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I think he'd be like, I'm going back to Kansas, Kansas City. City had a fair amount of theater, and I thought, okay, good. But then I came up here and I was just kind of stunned. Yeah. Holy people, cow, there's a lot of theater. Nashville has a lot more theater than people think. I, and that's too. what I've heard yeah. there. They're yeah. a real big performing arts. It's not just all music just down music. there. Yeah. 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 Well, and, and you run, uh, speaking of that, uh, you, uh, you are the uh, 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 director and founder of the Destiny Theater Experience, which is out of Nashville, yeah, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a small company that I started in 2007, but just because I'm a playwright as well and a director. Oh, wow. And so yes. it was one of those things where I just didn't want to wait on opportunity after, you know, to, you know, auditions are, that's, as an actor, you go on auditions and it's like, you might get the role, you might not. Right. And it could be something that you really want to do and not get the role, right? Yeah. And so with me becoming a producer, and and really it's just an extension of things that I did as a kid because I used to, like, if I wanted to do a show or, like, some type of cool performance, I'd gather my friends up and we'd do something, you right? just do it, yeah. And so now I was producing at the time and not really even knowing that I was producing. So... Um, it was a natural step for me. And it, it's not just about me, but it's about creating opportunities for um, my fellow actors yeah. and also telling stories that I think are important to tell that may not get told otherwise. Yes, so for sure. yeah, it's, it's bigger than just like for me. It's for the community, for my, um, you know, for other artists that I work with. So. Yeah. I love the name of it, though. Theater yes. experience. Yes, yes, that's very intentional. My daughter's name is Destiny. She was born the year prior. Oh, oh cool. So I named Aww. it after her. I put the word nice. experience in there because I didn't want it to be, I want people to be transformed, right? And that's what the arts does. And yes. so it's not just about me entertaining somebody, but me giving somebody something that is going to be something they can carry with them. So yeah. something they can learn from, grow from. And then not just the audience, but the individuals who are a part of that production, that they um, carry something with them that um, that makes them a better person. Because mm -hmm. that's what I try to do from show to show. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So what kind of plays have you written? Do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Well, so you yeah. did a one-man show for, I, I saw, mm -hmm. didn't you have a... Yeah, yeah. So I've written tons of plays. Um, the one-man show is called 23-1. It's about uh, solitary confinement. Okay. So the 23 hours that... Um, a person is legally can legally be kept in a cell right. versus the one hour of rec time that Correct they get, time. which is typically like being outside in the yard and still within a, a small cage by themselves. Mm -hmm. And so it, I wrote the story of um, of a guy who goes to prison for selling drugs, and in prison there's an altercation that happens between he and, a, and a, some guards, and he gets put in solitary confinement and then that's where the story really really begins okay and it's about his trying to hold hold on to his sanity while being in isolated. solitary yeah. yeah 23 hours a day yeah. yeah yeah and then not only are there things going on inside the prison but there are things going out going on in the outside world that are impacting him as well but yeah so and so like yeah yeah. Wow. Now, well, was this one? Now, did you write this and somebody else did it, or did, was this written and, and you did it? Yeah, I'm the only person that has performed the show, okay. so I wrote it and performed it. I co-directed with a, a good friend of mine, Candace Amnura. She's uh, I brought her in as a second set of eyes, and yeah. um, you know, and it was it was a great experience. It got a lot of good attention around Nashville, and I've taken it to my. I'm a mater, MTSU, and cool. looking to travel with it too. Yeah. Oh so, wow. Yeah. So, what is next for you then after our town? Is is it is it you're going to continue to do some traveling with your with your acting, or are you going to do you have more plans to develop where you are right now with the theater experience? Yeah. So um, there's always something next. I go right yeah. into 
um, a dance show <laughs> right oh, wow. when I get back. Like I get a week off. And I actually got an opportunity. I got an offer to do an, another like straight play mm-hmm. that starts the same week as the dance show. So I'm looking to see if I can make those happen. Can, can you make them both happen? Yeah. Right. So um, that's a that's a possibility. Cool, cool. Um, and then I'm booked. I have an audition next week for something over the summer. Yeah. We'll see what happens. I don't want to yeah. say, I don't right. want to name right. stuff that I'm not right. going to, right, right, whether right, or not right. I do right. it or not. But I'm if not I'm not, for you here. I'm yeah, gonna... thank you, thank you. <laughs> but typically if I'm not like, I'm typically directing or yeah. um, producing something even when I'm not on stage. So, wow. Yeah. So what would you recommend saying to people who, younger people who are wanting to get into theater that want to be able to do all of this? They want, they'd love to be able to have their own, um, space to do their plays and, and that type of thing. What kind of advice would you give to them? My advice would be, oh man, to just do it. You know, like a lot of times people, whether it's theater or something else, I hear people all the time talk about what they want to do. And you just got to do it. You know, you just got to get out there and do it. Go to auditions, go to plays, put yourself in the, in, in places where there are other actors read plays um you know just get out there and do it educate yourself as much as you can but don't let anything stop you from doing it if that's what you really want to do yeah and understand that uh, the business is not easy because you hear a lot of no's and Mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that it's a no that 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 no has to define you that's just a part of the everybody gets no's Yeah. yeah and sometimes you know like i've been passionate about doing a show and I auditioned, and I think I did well, and I probably did do well, but yes. somebody else still got the part over me. Yeah. And yeah. But there have been times when the great thing about plays is they get produced over and over again, so you might get a second chance. And mm-hmm. there's been a couple of times in my life where I didn't get the role one time, and then I got it later, you know, in yeah. a different production. For a different production. Yeah, yeah. so um, just, you know, go go after it. I mean, it's very simple advice, but I, but I think it's just you have to – um, just go for it. Don't sit around thinking about it. Just do it. Just do it. Yeah. That's. Funny. And if you don't, if nobody will cast you, you're you're you are capable of writing your own stuff. Mm-hmm. You are capable of producing your own stuff. Cast yourself. You can cast yourself <laughs> and your friends. Yeah. And do a great production. Put together a team of people, yeah. and you can do it yourself. Wow. That's what you did. That's what we, when we were talking to Ron Himes, they yeah. were, that's how the St. Louis Black Rep came because they, yeah. he couldn't get the roles he wanted and the parts he wanted. And he's like, you know what? The heck with this. We're just going to make our own company. Yeah. yeah. And go. still going today. Yeah. Yep. And they just, they just did it. That's yeah. great. They just, they, you did just do it. it. Mm-hmm. You do it. Yeah. If you have to start off in a basement doing yeah, exactly. shows, exactly. Whatever it Gorilla takes. Gorilla theater on the lawn, whatever. Whatever it, it matter. takes. Yeah. 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 Well, and you being in Nashville all through the pandemic, because it's such a big performing arts town, as they're digging themselves out, what's it looking like in Nashville now? Are they are they kind of back up and running? Did, did yeah. you guys lose a bunch of theaters and stuff? Or um, I wouldn't say we lost the – I don't know if we've lost any theaters, but, yeah. But, like, I mean, it was definitely rough for – a lot of companies but some but like one thing about about nashville that it it has a lot of companies but not a lot of performance spaces when it comes to theaters right really so we could use a few more actual theater interesting we have like music venues tons of those but not as many theaters as we proper theaters as we need in compared to the number of actual companies that exist so like we have like um, the Dark Horse Theater is a company that is a theater building that I work out of, and I'm a, my company is a resident um, company there. But there are others as well, so we all kind of share that space. We just kind of move in and out, um, and we have just like regular dates at at that space. So we know we we have a home, but it's yeah. not like we own it. Right. But um, I don't know if there's any companies that went out of business. Not that I can think of, mm-hmm. but. Um, it was rough on everybody, but yeah. people are, you know, coming back. There's shows yeah. that have been happening. I just did Ragtime cool. back in November. Cool show. Um, yeah, it was fun. So I did that with Nash- Nashville Repertory Theater. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. What, is, has, what has been your favorite 
role, probably besides the one that you wrote, but <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sure that, let's that see. was a good one. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed, somebody asked me that, and I was just like, oh my God, what? Oh. Belize and Angels in America. Okay. I played Belize and Angels in America. I really loved that role. I also loved the role of Booth in Top Dog Underdog. Okay. I saw Booth, I saw Top Dog Underdog um, on Broadway in 2002, I think. Okay. And I left that theater so moved. And I was like, I got to do that show one day. And I produced it like five years later. And um, but yeah, that's that's a show that I would love to do again. That's great. Yeah. Oh, well, you were you're absolutely wonderful in this production. We just really enjoyed watching you on stage. Thank you. And very comfortable and Thank very you. relatable. <laughs> yes. You yeah. know, it's a really relatable role, I think, in For a lot sure. of ways. Was this your first time uh, or experience with uh, Our Town? Yeah, I read Our, Our Town um, in high school. I, you know what? I never really thought – it never – was something that was on my radar that I would do, you know. So when yeah. it came up, I was like, hmm, "Our town is interesting." So, yeah. Um, so yeah, but like I've fallen in love with this piece and this character. Yeah, he's been really fun to play. And I have a daughter. I have a 15 year old daughter. Okay. And Emily is my daughter in the play. Is not that much older than my daughter. <laughs> no, my real not. daughter. Yeah, yeah, she's like they're really young, getting married. And so. Um, I don't think I would be quite as nervous and awkward to talk to my uh, son-in-law about. I, I think I'd be ready to have a conversation. Uh, but, but, but Mr. Webb doesn't want to do it. He's just kind of like, oh, he's just, he's just like a character that is like, he has his head down in his bubble, in his uh, office, working on the newspaper. You know, that's yeah. his thing. Yeah. And so, um, so when he has to, like, talk to the, give these speeches and – when he has to have these conversations, it's, it's awkward for him. It's <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Now, you do travel around a little bit, of course, doing acting stuff and whatnot, but you travel around and do some teachings and some some kind of classes and yeah, stuff like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. So I align myself with a couple of organizations that um, that send me out to do workshops. One, the main one is Southern Word. It's a... Um, Nashville-based nonprofit that I've been working with since 2008, 2009. And we go into schools and other spaces teaching poetry and spoken word. So we oh, use cool. spoken word as a tool to help young people and even adults, because we do workshops with adults too, to help young people um, express themselves, to tell their stories, to speak their truth. We, we reinforce literacy through spoken word so nice. so that's um a fun thing that i've done for years and it's really powerful transformative because yeah. young people are talking about their lives right. and um yeah. some of it is really hard to like difficult stuff to hear to be mm -hmm. honest right. but um it helps them kind of break through um, a barrier that may have been holding them because a lot of times they don't talk about what it is that they've exactly. experienced so it, right. yeah and so i do that in prisons and co colleges etc yeah oh, wow. oh wow that's great work yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's really great work. Work. is really lucky to have you thank you thank that. you very much yeah it's sure. rewarding i'm grateful and to have the opportunity to do that because i grow so much from like as a teacher as the person who is the like the facilitator the instructor you come in with the tools and you're teaching but then you hear these stories and you hear their insight and you hear their ideas. And mm -hmm. I've grown tremendously as an artist, as a person, just by being able to teach these young people. It's been amazing. Wow. Yeah. Well, it really translates on stage. You did a Thank great you. job. Thank you. Thank you. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Awesome. Well, gosh. All right. Well, thank you we very much. Hour I know. We could thank you. Yeah. Keep talking. Yeah. There was a lot to talk to you about. Yes. You're doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, so impressive. So nice to meet you. It's very great to meet you. Nice. So thank you for having me. Uh, and he Privileged. is playing thank you. Mr. Webb in the Rascal Repertory Theater's Our Town, which is currently running. Come on down and see it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Our Town is directed by Arthur Feinsod and dedicated to the memory of his late friend and colleague, Tony Hall, who directed Dr. Feinsod's play, Table 17, in 2007. Our Town opened on April 13th and runs through April 24th. You can get your tickets now at nebraskarep.org.
Thank you for listening and supporting the arts in the Platte River area and beyond. Please subscribe to our podcast so you are sure to catch all of our future episodes and join us on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Music for this podcast was used with permission by Screaming Skull Productions. See you next time on the Platte River Bard.